In this video, we're going to be comparing the Wild Horse 6 versus the Pegasus 36 Trail. Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to 40 Runs. Now, if this is your first time at 40 Runs, I want you to smash that ping button down there that says subscribe on it. Go to our Facebook page and join the 40 Runs running community and check out the description. There's loads of cool things, including a link to both of these shoes. Now, I'm new to trail running, if you're new to the channel, and I've been spending most of my time uh, this summer in nose up the trails. I then got my hands on these, so I thought it'd be cool to actually do a comparison video, so let's get stuck in. Right guys, now if you've not seen the video already, the review of this, I'd recommend you check it out. I've done a, a full review of this shoe, um, which is awesome. And I've actually, I don't think I've ever done a review of these. I picked these up cheap and I sort of, when I go up the trails, I stick them on and off I go. Um, they're just a great for me summer or spring uh, trail shoe. Um, and for me, they just tick all the boxes. So I thought because I said to, to do a kind of comparison between the two, because that's where I spend most of my time in, but I've been spending more time in this and I bought these specifically to do the work that these have been doing. Right, so there we go. So before we get into which one I actually prefer, let's get into some of the stats and the features like usual on the channel. So this is the Wild Horse 6. It weighs 10 and a half ounces. It's got an eight mil drop. You've got the brand new awesome full length React midsole in it. You've got this durable mesh upper with a sock like ankle, which apparently keeps her dirt and debris. Love telling you about that. It's got fewer but larger uh, lugs throughout the shoe uh, versus its predecessor, uh, but some of them are a lot more smaller. So they've changed the design versus its uh, predecessor. And you've got like, different sorts of rubber on the outside. Uh, outsole, and this is a little bit more sticky. You've obviously got a kick plate up the front as well. Um, and they've made some really nice changes to the sort of lacing. I really dig that actually. Right, and then we've got the Pegasus 36 uh, trail, which is about to be uh, replaced by the way with the 37 trail. So check that out. I've seen some images, it looks awesome. Um, so the Pegasus 36, um, you've got this perfor, perfor, uh, get my tongue in gear. You've got the perforated mesh and synthetic upper, which lets you, lets your foot breathe, obviously. You've got the zoom air units in the heel and the forefoot, so you're getting a bit of cushioning while you're out on the trails. You've got the outsole lugs, which optimize uh, traction on the roads and the trails. You've got a widened foot, uh, forefoot, which is really nice. It does give a roomy fit. Uh, you've got overlays which form around the eyelets uh, and integrate with a traditional lacing system for a secure lockdown. You've got cushion foam, which cushions the, your foot and offers a really, really supportive feel. The shoe weighs in at 291 grams. It's got a 10 mil drop, and like I said, you can pick this up really cheap at the moment, uh, below, well below 100 pounds. Right, so which one do I actually prefer? Well, straight out of the bat, I prefer the Wild Horse 6. This is great. If you're looking, so this is the Pegasus by the way, if you're looking for a shoe that will go from road to trail really easy as a transition, this is the one you want. It, and, it, and even more so with the, third, the 37 version coming out. If you do like, let's say you run up roads to get to your trails and then you go on the trails and it's not too anything too major, this is the one for you. It's got enough grip um out there to do most of what you want i say i spend a lot of time uh in this shoe when i'm up on the trails mate it's dusty and it's you know it's nothing yet anything mega right uh, with regards to trail running and say i'm new to trails uh, i'm just getting into it but this has served me well um and i think it would serve you well and if you can pick these up cheap like you can at the moment then i think you know i would really check that out you can get a really nice lockdown with it and it just feels great. And, and you've got to say, you've got the zoom pockets in there. So it's nice and soft and cushioned um, and it's nice and responsive at the same time. But if you're looking for a real trail shoe, I've got to be honest with you, get the Wild Horse 6. You can even pick this up for hundred pound, under a hundred pounds now as well. It just, apart from the fact I think it looks awesome, but it really performs well. When, when, you, when you do get into some of those more sort of harder trails this really does come into its own you've got a nice stability in the heel but with the react foam it's nice and cushioned but responsive more so than this um with the grip as well you know there's there's plenty when well, it's more than what i need at the moment with regards to how dry it is up the trail but when we get into sort of muckier times this is going to come into its element and that's why you know look if you compare the two see what i mean so yeah if you're looking really for a for a uh, a really good trail shoe obviously these are not the hardcore end of the scale um you know you need to look elsewhere for them but if you're looking for a day-to-day -day trail shoe i think the wild horse six and it's particularly now that's under 100 pounds is really the way to go if you want something that's just going to take you on the roads and then off road a little bit and then come back on the roads then look for the nike pegasus uh trail because that is an awesome awesome shoe both great great shoes i can't recommend them enough so check them out 